Raw kicks off with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. He wants to talk about Jey Uso, but just like last week, he gets interrupted by Dirty Dom. Dom says that Jey Uso will join the Judgment Day and that Mammy is missing tonight as she was injured by Nia Jax. Oh god, not another injury at the hands of Nia Jax, who could have seen that one coming? Cody insinuates Dom and Rhea's relationship is one-sided in the sense that Dom is far more into Rhea than she is him, and he even insinuates that Rhea has the hots for Jey Uso, which makes Dom very mad. Dom brings out the other Judgment Day lads as backup and we get into the match, it's Cody vs Dom. Cody hits a Cody cutter and a crossroads to pick up a quick win. After the match, Judgment Day look like they're going to attack Cody, but he gets saved by Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as the Judgment Day retreat. Cody leaves, but gets called back by Kevin Owens because Kevin wants to talk about something. It turns out that something is Jey Uso as Kevin gets Cody to reiterate that Cody is the reason Jey is on Raw again. Kevin asks why Cody would do that considering everything Jey did to the Raw locker room while in the bloodline. Cody says he wants to give Jey a second chance because of his immense talent, even Sammy tries to convince Kev to give Jey a second chance. Kevin instead brings up how Jey cost all of them the universal title and says he can't trust Jey right now but he hopes Cody is right and that Jey has changed as Kevin walks out to end the segment. Shinsuke Nakamura is here for a match with Ricochet. Seth Rollins comes out to try to confront Naka but is held back by big baldy Adam Pearce. Rollins storms the ring anyway but Shin gets out of there and Seth is held back by security. Ricochet arrives and we get into the match. Finish comes on the outside when Naka tries to use a chair but Ricochet super kicks him and takes the chair off of Naka and smashes him with the chair instead. Ricochet moves to the ref despite blatantly hitting Naka with the chair and gets his comeuppance as he gets his legs smashed in and gets a Kinshasa to the baldy napper. Nakamura then pulmonises Ricochet's leg, but let's be honest, he deserves this for cheating. Seth Rollins does come out to Ricochet's aid, I guess that means Seth is a heel now and brawls with Nakamura. Seth tries to pedigree Naka on a chair, but Naka back body drops Seth on the chair, targeting the injured back. The two end up split up by security, but the commentary team drive home the idea that Naka is in Seth's head. Jey Uso has a backstage interview with jumping Jackie Redmond. He is quickly interrupted by Damien Priest. Priest has a great line where he says Jay's blood makes the bloodline his relatives, but that doesn't necessarily make them family. But Judgment Day could be the family Jay is looking for. Priest asks Jay to join the Judgment Day and to give him an answer by the end of the night. Chad Gable against Bronson Reed is next. Bronson wins with the Tsunami. Sorry Wade, I'll give it the gusto it deserves. Bronson wins with the Tsunami! And celebrates. Jey Uso confronts Kevin Owens backstage as Sami Zayn tries to play Peacekeeper. Jey tells KO to say what he thinks to his face as Kevin tells Jey he thinks he will join the Judgment Day because he can't do anything for himself. Sami gets both of them to chill out. Kevin says he doesn't care what Jey does because KO won't trust him anyway and says he's leaving. Sami tells Jey he has a big decision to make and leaves Jey to think about it. The new NXT Women's Champion Becky Lynch is here to defend her newly won title. First though, she cuts a promo saying what winning the title means to her. It means she is a Grand Slam champion, but Becky wants to elevate the title to a new stratosphere. She offers an open challenge and gets interrupted by, yep, you guessed it, Natalia. Natalia says she is a hard worker and deserves a chance. Becky says she wanted to face a young up-and-comer. Natalia says Becky is a hypocrite because she jumped the line and disrespected the up-and-coming talent in NXT, tell her when she's telling lies, and calls Becky a ginger witch, and to me, that's too far, that were diabolical, send the dirty get off. Becky accepts and we get the match going. After a sequence of roll-ups, Becky gets the win and celebrates such a difficult title defence against one of the all-time greats of this sport. Giovanni Vinci faces Tommaso Ciampa next. Ciampa counters a springboard attempt with a knee and makes Vinci tap out with the Sicilian stretch. Kaiser looks disgusted with Vinci, where could that be heading? Surely they won't break up Imperium. Main event time as main event Jey Uso is here for a match against Drew McIntyre. Drew dressed in white and that makes him a very sexy Scotsman this week. Judgment Day come down to ringside to get a closer look at the action. Judgment Day try to motivate Jay in the corner and he even fist bumps Priest but it's a ruse as Jay super kicks all members of Judgment Day confirming he has turned them down. He turns and gets hit by a claymore as Drew wins the main event. After the match Judgment Day beat down Jay and Drew McIntyre considers going back to save him but he doesn't. Instead Cody Rhodes runs out to help Jay as the duo dispatch of Judgment Day one by one to end the show with the faces standing tall. Thank you so much for watching my review of Raw this week. Please do your part and support the channel by liking, subscribing and let me know in the comments what you liked about the show, what you didn't like about the show and what you think that I can do better. Hopefully you stick around and I'll see you all next time.